Weekend Wrap. It was a busy weekend in Southern Norwegian. We begin the weekend wrap with some aerobic fun in Thornhill. About 100 people took part in a jazzercise benefit class Saturday to raise funds for the Canadian Cancer Society. The instructor and coordinator of the event, Marlene Gardner, says the fundraiser was a huge success. The sweat was well worth it as over $8,000 was raised for the Canadian Cancer Society. Veterinarians across Southern New York region offered low-cost rabies shots this weekend. Many people took the opportunity to bring in their family pets for the shots that cost only $8. As you can see, some of the furry friends took it all in stride, while others were a little bit nervous about the whole affair. The Public Health Department reminds everyone that immunizing pets is the most important measure to prevent rabies. The Thornhill Vaughan Ratepayers Association helped celebrate Canada's birthday Saturday by planting 125 trees. Young and old pitched in to plant the new trees at a variety of locations, including Oak Bank Pond, Uplands, and Thornhill Park. I guess our concern more is today's with the environment, uh, the ozone uh, levels, and we're trying to. Uh, plant as many trees as possible to uh, make it a nicer place for our children and, uh, and their children. There were apple fritters, candy apples, apple pie, apple butter, and apple cider. Yes, you guessed it, it was an apple celebration. The Markham Museum hosted its annual Apple Fest Saturday, featuring plenty of tasty apple treats. The Richmond Hill Presbyterian Church celebrated its 175th anniversary Sunday with a special service. Reverend Dr. Linda Bell was the guest preacher. She is the first female and the youngest moderator of the Presbyterian Church. We continue the weekend wrap in Wichert Stouffville at the opening of an art exhibition. Flying Landscape Silent Angels is the name of a mixed media on paper exhibit by Claudia McKnight. The exhibition continues at the Latcham Gallery in Wichard Stouffville until November 8th. The Society for the Preservation of Historic Thorn Hill held a special platform of Holy and Preston. Preston personality in Thornhill. The woman was deeply religious and she was such a character that a book was written about her called An Irish Saint. 27 editions were printed in seven different languages. Preston passed away in 1906, but she decided to make a ghostly visit back to her hometown on Saturday. The plaque is located at Answell Park at Elgin and Dudley. And finally, Arts Richmond Hill held its 12th annual celebration of the arts over the weekend at Hillcrest Mall. Close to two dozen exhibitors were on hand with demonstrations ranging from spinning and weaving to pumpkin carving. The original's own Sharon Board kicked off the opening ceremonies piped in by a member of Richmond Hill's Legion. And uh, the idea is to uh, expose the arts to the people of Richmond Hill, particularly since there's so many new people in Richmond Hill probably don't even know that we exist, and to hopefully attract some new members, some new groups that would like to form, and we'd very much like to help them form, and uh, hopefully um, perhaps even have some sponsors. The nonprofit organization serves as the Art Council to some 20 performing and visual arts organizations. And that is the Weekend Wrap. I'm Carmen Salerno. Bob Cressman has initiated a report. Let's, let's uh, begin. Welcome on behalf of the Historical Society. I think we don't need a megaphone, do we? Y'all, y'all hear me? Okay, why don't, why don't we actually come in just a wee bit closer? It'll be easier for those, I've, I've got a booming voice, but some others may not have. So why don't we just kind of snuggle in here and uh, we'll, we'll uh, begin the, the, the little in, uh, uh, improvised. The, uh, the bell, this part of the plaque is called the bell. 
is supposed to fit the post. They were made, I think, by separate manufacturers. They weren't supposed to. By giving you some of the... about a year ago. The history goes back on She told me that some of the conditions that had been of 91. Then she sent me a letter and then the authorities decided to extend Dudley Avenue uh, north from Algon to John Street, cut, cutting a swath through our property, passing within inches of our kitchen door. We moved from the house in May of 1967 and at that time offered to donate a portion of the land in memory of Anne Preston, the prayer house and the cement well cap, which I believe was put in place by Mr. Clark in 57. I couldn't correct that. And there to erect a suitable fence in the area, and we still have a commitment that a fence will probably play. I think today has a greater extent of detail than, than, than the plaque there. Yeah. Undertake to keep the park neat and clean, and, and the town has certainly done that. And arrange for an on-site ceremony. The first ceremony, I think, uh, there, there was a ceremony associated started around the mid-70s. A large, beautiful stone from northern Ontario was placed at the entrance. And a copper plaque describing the life of Oleander is attached to the stone. My husband and I were not informed of that in the council of the town of Markham, as you all know, the mayor is in the hospital, or I'm sure he would have been delighted to be here with us this afternoon. Um, I'm also pleased Land Avenue, which is right across the street from Yorkdale Shopping Centre. And I used to spend some time there in the summer, and one rainy day I was kind of bored and I went looking through her bookcase and found this book called Holy Anne, an Irish Saint. And I read it. <laughs> And I've never really uh, completely forgotten it. This and is the there's, original version. There's, there's the book, and, and Aunt Jessie has version. one very much like it. <laughs> um, and I guess I always remembered, and I was delighted. I got here before the... Uh, Claire just phoned, uh, what, how long ago? Mm -hmm. Years ago? Good. And he and the Historical Society have put the final push on to get it done. I'm not saying that a lot of work hasn't been done over the years. It certainly hasn't but I think it's thanks to them to, to get these little final things uh, completed. Um, and I'd like to introduce the rest of Claire's family, my sister, Sharon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Come down. laughs> carry on. Okay, shall I carry on? All right. Um, and this is really interesting, because what I had written down was Claire and Harold Clark had a dream, and today the shadow of Anne, I mean, talk about time, shadow of Anne will remain in the area in which she spent most of her long life. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Stasek has given a lot of the history behind this dream, and Claire wanted me to come to North America, knock on the door, and a minister one time spent an hour in the home, apparently, just to get the atmosphere before his sermon, and people would ask for a drink of water. And even in Florida, apparently, they met someone, and when they said they were from Thornhill, they knew it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you have left it all in the well? <laughs> Let me, let me tell you the official version of, of the story of Holy Anne. I'll try and do it quite quickly, and then we can adjourn for some, for some uh, hot apple cider. And uh, Holy Anne herself will make all the necessary correct. Just to see if I could find a few things that I still remembered, and I came to this spot first. But I was saddened to see that old Dr. Reed's home was gone. I, after much controversy, because many people hoped to have it saved. And next I went down John Street and was thrilled and surprised to see my little cottage standing at what is now 32 John Street. And I remember it wasn't long after I left the village that they moved it from Elgin and Young across the fields about 1896. Now I'm going to just help you a little tiny bit, like just a tiny back. Can you just hold this, please? We will just hold that. If you want to take some, we're going to hold that for a minute. I'd like you to take some pictures. If anybody wants to take some now. There you are. Are you cold? <laughs> are you anxious to get some hot cider? Oh, okay. Let's, uh, how be if you're closer and how be if you let go of the cord and you pull it? How does that sound? Did you pull it down? Good for you. Now, the two of you would just grab this and pull it down. Pull it, keep pulling. 
Keep pulling, don't stop now. Yes. Whoa. Thank you very much. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to come back for this at any rate, so we're going to go down with stuff. Yeah, good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Vic Stesek. I'm president of the Society for the Preservation of Historic Thorn Hill. This afternoon, we had uh, unveiled a plaque commemorative of Holy Ann Preston and some of the uh, miracles that were associated with her uh, life in Thorn Hill from, uh, from about 1840 to the early 1900s. About 40 per people participated in this uh, uh, plaque unveiling ceremony, and we uh, invite you to look uh, at Answell Park, at, come to Answell Park in Thornhill at the corner of Dudley and Eglinton and uh, read the plaques on your own. Thank you.